Lesson 9.2, Estimate Lengths in Centimeters. We can use lengths that we know to help us estimate lengths that we don't know. We can relate and compare the known length to the unknown length. Then we can make a reasonable estimate. Quick note to the parents and teachers, we will be using a 10 centimeter strip during this lesson for spatial reasoning. Please make sure the student has one, or they can use an object that is 10 centimeters long, such as a pencil, string, or stick. Here we have a 10 centimeter strip, and we have a green bar underneath it, and we don't know how long the green bar is. And knowing that 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 will help us find half of the 10 centimeter bar to estimate a length. If half is 5 and the whole thing is 10, well then this green bar is somewhere between 5 and 10. The green bar is, is it 4, 8, or 12 centimeters long? And we can see it's more than 5, so it's not 4. And we can see it's shorter than 10, so it's not 12. It must be 8. 5 is halfway, and we know it's more than 5. We know it's less than 10. It must be 8 centimeters long. This pencil is about 10 centimeters long. It's telling us to circle the most reasonable estimate for the length of the green bar. We have a choice of 5 centimeters, 8 centimeters, or 12 centimeters. And we think 5 centimeters would be half. If the pencil is 10 centimeters, then about halfway is 5. And the pencil is longer than the green bar, so it must be less than 10 centimeters. The most reasonable estimate for the length of the green bar would be 8 centimeters. We know it's more than halfway. We know it's less than 10. It must be 8. This clothespin is about 9 centimeters long. We need to circle the most reasonable estimate for the length of the paintbrush. We think, how many 9 centimeter clothespins would fit the length of the paintbrush? Can you imagine? Here we have one. Can you imagine another one? If this is nine centimeters and we put another one here, our choices are 10 centimeters, 18 centimeters, or 30 centimeters. If this is nine centimeters, nine plus nine is equal to 18. That would be our best estimate. It would be the most reasonable because 10 centimeters would just be one little centimeter longer than the clothespin, and 30 centimeters would almost be three clothespins. So 18 centimeters is the most reasonable estimate. So using our 10 centimeters strip, about how long is this crayon? Our blue strip is 10 centimeters. How many centimeters do you think the crayon is? If you said about seven, you're right. It's probably about seven centimeters because halfway right here would be five. That's 10 and it's closer to the five than it is to the 10. So seven would be a good estimate. How long is this yellow bar? The blue bar is 10 centimeters. About how long is that yellow bar? If you said about 12, you're right. It's about two centimeters longer than that blue bar. So 12 would be a very reasonable estimate. About how long is the orange bar? If you said about nine centimeters, you're probably right, because if that's 10 centimeters, it looks like it's about one little centimeter shorter. So nine would be a very reasonable estimate. What about this green bar here? How long is the green bar?
Well, we could estimate 13 or 14. Either one would probably be close. If this is 10, and we can imagine a few more centimeters, so we could say 13. It might be 14, but we're just looking for a reasonable estimate. If we can imagine the length of one centimeter, we can estimate the length of an object in centimeters. About how long is a house key? Circle the most reasonable estimate. Do you think a house key is about five centimeters, 10 centimeters, or 20 centimeters? If you said five centimeters, you're right. A house key is about five centimeters long. 10 centimeters and 20 centimeters would be too long. Here we have a word problem. It says Sarah has 125 more centimeters of ribbon than Tala. Sarah has 350 centimeters of ribbon. How many centimeters of ribbon does Tala have? So we think we are comparing the lengths of Sarah's and Tala's ribbons. Sarah has 350 centimeters. It tells us right here. Which is 125 more centimeters than Tala. If we subtract 350 minus 125, we will find the length of Tala's ribbon. So we are comparing and we need to subtract. We write 350 minus 125, and we go to the ones place. We have zero ones, and we need to take five away, and we can't. We don't have enough. So we're going to regroup from the tens place. The five tens is going to become four tens, and the zero ones is going to become ten ones. Ten minus five is five. Four tens minus two tens is two tens. Three hundreds minus one hundred is two hundred. We know that Tala's ribbon is 225 centimeters long. We make sure that we mark that it's centimeters so that we know what we're counting. You can use your 10 centimeter strip to measure and estimate things around your classroom or your house. Our next lesson, 9.3, we are going to actually measure with a centimeter ruler. I hope you have a really good day, and I hope you'll join me. Bye.